What is your target blood pressure? Is your blood pressure really under control or just close enough? Today, I'm gonna dive into the real numbers, the ones that can add years to your life or quietly take them away. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian. What is a target blood pressure? We've well, probably heard a hundred times, 120 over 80, the gold standard of normal blood pressure. But what if I told you that's not really the full story? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the updated current guidelines for blood pressure, why they changed over time, and what it actually means for you. Let's start with the basics. Blood pressure has two numbers. The top one, the systolic, that measures the pressure when your heart beats or squeezes. The bottom, that's the diastolic. That's when your heart relaxes. And when you get your pressure measured at home or a doctor's office, both of those are measured. But these numbers aren't just digits. They're actually powerful predictors of your risk for heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, and more. But for decades, doctors taught us all that anything under 140 over 90 was okay, especially if you're older. That threshold came from some older studies that linked higher readings with severe cardiovascular risk, heart attack, stroke. But physicians didn't really aggressively treat blood pressure until things got pretty elevated. The so-called normal was a moving target and it left millions of people in a gray zone, technically high, but not high enough to treat. All of that changed in 2017. The American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association dropped a bombshell because they redefined high blood pressure as anything above 130 over 80, not 140 over 90. And here's what their new definition said. Normal blood pressure less than 120 over 80. Elevated between 120 and 129 systolic and less than 80 diastolic. But the definition of high blood pressure 130 to 139 systolic or 80 to 89 diastolic. That's stage one. Stage two hypertension is above 140 over 90. This change meant that nearly half of United States adults were diagnosed suddenly with hypertension. Why did these prominent societies lower the bar? Well, it wasn't to scare you or me. It actually was to save lives. And it was based on a massive study known as the SPRINT trial. Now, SPRINT stands for Systolic Blood Pressure Intervention Trial. And it was a massive government-funded study published in the preeminent journal, New England Journal of Medicine. And this study, researchers looked at over 9,000 adults. And they split these individuals into two groups. One group, systolic blood pressure target less than 140, the traditional goal. The other group, aggressive intensive treatment for a target of less than 120. Now here's the fascinating results. The group that was treated to a lower target under 120 had a 25% lower risk of major cardiovascular events, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure. And what was even more compelling is the the group that had the target of 120 millimeters mercury had a 27% reduction in death from all causes, not just heart disease. That's not just good news, that's life-saving. Now the benefits were so clear that this massive trial was actually stopped early because the intensive treatment group was doing so much better, it was considered unethical to continue letting the other group aim for higher numbers. As always, the devils are in the details because it's not all always smooth sailing with this lower blood pressure. More intensive blood pressure treatment comes with some increased risks. Syncope or fainting where you fall down, low blood pressure and kidney injury in some cases. Based on those findings, the AHA and the ACC made a monumental decision. They changed the 140 over 90 standard to a new blood pressure target, less than 130 over 80 for most adults. But after I've told you all this, why 130 instead of pushing everyone down to the clearly superior 120. Because while aiming for 120 saved lives in the sprint trial, it also came with more significant side effects, dizziness, passing out, kidney problems, and dangerous drops in blood pressure. Now we talk a lot about hypertension, but hypotension where you have low blood pressure also causes terrible trouble with your heart and your brain. So these blood pressure experts realize that while lower is often better, it's not a one size fits all. And instead, 
said the target at 130 over 80 was chosen because it strikes the perfect balance. It's low enough to protect your heart, your brain, and your kidneys, but it's also safer and more realistic for most everyday people. The bottom line, aiming for less than 130 over 80 gives you most of the life-saving benefits without piling on the unnecessary risks. So that's how you choose the right blood pressure target. Remember, managing your blood pressure is a journey, not a sprint. Aim for 130 over 80 and take it one step at a time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're interested in more doctor qualified high blood pressure information, try these videos.